could such ideas really help our understanding of the Bible? And is it possible that extraterrestrials have influenced the development of mankind? There are many who claim that the proof can be found in some astonishing places. For those who believe that close encounters with alien beings have helped shape Earth's history, it is important to remember that it isn't only ancient history that has been so influenced. There have been literally hundreds of credible accounts of strange creatures, UFO sightings, and otherworldly phenomena that took place, even in the so-called Dark Ages. There have been sightings all over the world throughout the Middle Ages. There are stories going from Scotland to England to Italy to the Crusades. Remember, the Crusades took place over hundreds of years. And at certain points in the battle, in some cases over Turkey, in some cases over Jerusalem, there are images captured in writing by various chroniclers talking about a strange cloud in the sky that glowed red. A strange image coming out of a cloud in the sky. Why would we say this is a UFO? Because traditionally, UFOs mask themselves by forming a cloud around themselves. And it's a cloud that's going through the sky. That's their invisibility cloak. In his 13th century historical work, titled Otto Imperiale, Gervas of Tilbury wrote about an aerial craft over the city of Bristol, England, which caught an anchor in a church steeple. Uses specifically the term anchor. Now, we don't know what kind of anchor that is, but a creature, a man, climbs out of this craft and tries to free the anchor from the steeple, and all the people in the village start stoning him, thinking he's some sort of evil demon. But for ancient astronaut theorists, evidence of an alien presence during the Middle Ages isn't only found in literature. All throughout the Middle Ages, there are some magnificent paintings. And in certain areas of the painting, there are what looks like to be UFOs. They're always floating up in the sky, usually above the Virgin Mary or above Jesus on the crucifix or somewhere we have sceneries that depict what looks like UFOs. One very interesting painting is where Jesus sits up in the clouds with quote-unquote God and they're holding on to the antenna of what looks like Sputnik and theologians say what is depicted here is nothing else but the Earth. But why would Earth have two antennae sticking out of it? And why would it be round? Because the mainstream viewpoint at the time was that the Earth was flat. Here are pictures of the crucifixion, dated around 1350, from Kosovo. Here are presumably vehicles with people driving them in attendance at the crucifixion. Could this be a crude an attempt on the part of the artist, drawing on a tradition, obviously he won there, drawing on a tradition? Could he be reflecting a folklore? Possibly. The people of the Middle Ages depicted devils and angels frequently in their art. They did not depict what we today consider aliens specifically, but Angels are heavenly creatures that come from outside of our sphere, aren't they? Did the medieval artists include strange creatures and flying spacecraft in their paintings because they had seen them in real life? 